So camping season is right around the corner. And one thing when we started full-time RVing that we had questions about was Wi-Fi. And to be honest with you, we still have questions about it. I don't think anyone out there has found a perfect solution, but today we thought we'd talk about different options that we've tried over the years, that our friends have tried over the years, and at the end, let you know what we have used for a little over two years now. If you guys are new here, I'm Mike. Hi, I'm Steph. We have been full-time traveling for almost seven years in this camper for almost five. Starting right off with the simplest solution, if you're looking for Wi-Fi while you're RVing, a lot of RV parks now offer Wi-Fi. Now, general rule of thumb is campground Wi-Fi isn't very good, but you're gonna need to evaluate what you need it for. If it's just simple browsing on your phone or computer, maybe streaming a movie, most of those campgrounds Wi-Fi's will be okay. Now for us, it doesn't usually work out very well because we like to upload these videos for you guys and we use a lot of internet to do that. We've had good luck with larger campgrounds for the most part, but if you're in some smaller campgrounds, you might run into some issues. A few tips that I have for you guys if you're wanting to just use the Wi-Fi in the park that you're going to are try to get a spot as close to the Wi-Fi source as possible. The best thing to do is when you check into a campground, just ask them in the office where the best Wi-Fi is. Now some campers, some of the newer campers, are actually being built with Wi-Fi boosters on top. That's pretty neat. We don't have one and we can't speak to it too much, but those can kind of help boost that signal throughout the campground. Yeah, those just take the existing Wi-Fi in the campground that you're in and helps boost it and it can make it a little bit easier for you to use the existing Wi-Fi at campgrounds. Now, I am a travel nurse, so we're generally in places for more than a month at a time, so we do monthly stays in campgrounds. We have found some campgrounds, not across the board, but some of them have contracts with places like Dish or Spectrum, where you can get monthly Wi-Fi without having to sign a contract. That Wi-Fi is usually pretty good, and for us, I think it's averaged $30 to $50 a month for Wi-Fi that's pretty good. If you have a cell phone plan, you might have hotspot capability already on your phone plan, and you can turn your phone on and use your different devices off of your phone. Now, we have AT&T, we have for years. We don't have unlimited data, but we have used hotspots on our phone in a pinch to upload a video. If we need to get on and respond to you guys real quick and we don't have any uh, like Wi-Fi in the area, it does drain your service, so make sure you know your numbers going into that. But most of us have that already, and if you just need Wi-Fi in a pinch or to work on some work emails or something, you might already have that and not have to pay anything extra for it. The easiest way to find out about that is to get online, check out your existing plan, or call your service provider. Another option, if you just need Wi-Fi in a pinch, or say you work remotely a couple hours a day, or you just need it for a short period of time, get in the car and go somewhere else to use the Wi-Fi. We're not above going to, say, a coffee shop or, I don't know, like a brewery for a couple hours. But again, technically it's free. You don't have to pay anything extra. You might just get a drink or a snack or something to eat. But especially if you just need it for a short period of time and your campground doesn't have any Wi-Fi and you're not finding any other options, we've done this multiple times, especially Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. when we're trying to upload a video for y'all. 8 p.m. Eastern. <laughs> So that's an option that's built in and generally you can find some place that has free Wi-Fi once you're inside. Now let's talk about the big bucks. So those are simple free options that you might already have. And if you're wanting to spend some money or if you feel like maybe you need better Wi-Fi, maybe you're going full time or maybe you're wanting to work remotely, one of the options that you have is to purchase Starlink. Now the way that Starlink works is it runs off satellites and it sends internet directly to your device from Starlink. You can create your own little Wi-Fi area within your camper, but there are some downsides. Now I'll say all this, we don't have Starlink. I know, we're full-time RVers, we don't have Starlink. It's all the fashion right now and there's good reasons for that. But a big downside for us is cost. You have your upfront cost of the equipment, which at this time is $600. And then on top of that, for RVers, for the mobile internet service, it's an extra $135 a month for that service. 
and it may be service that you are willing to pay for it, but the problem that we have heard and seen is that Starlink can be a little inconsistent. Now that's pretty much any Wi-Fi or cell service, especially if you travel all over the country, you know it's going to be inconsistent. But for me, if I'm paying that much, I want guaranteed or closer to guaranteed consistent internet. So for a lot of our full-time friends, it is a good option, but a lot of our full-time friends who have Starlink still have a backup internet source as well. And if you guys don't necessarily want to spend that extra money on something like Starlink, like us, <laughs> You guys may look into some hotspot devices through maybe even your existing carrier. When we first started full-time traveling without the camper, we had a hotspot through AT&T. If I remember correctly, and this is back in like 2016, 2017, it was $100 a month for 100 gigs of internet. At that time, it worked great for us, but we did run out of internet by the end of the month occasionally. So there are lots of options out there like that through internet providers, through other services that are worth looking into. And after we got rid of our old hotspot, we realized that the convenience of a hotspot is actually really good. You can take it with you on the go, it's rechargeable, you can use usually your existing provider, or you can do what we do now for internet. So we actually use a hotspot device through an organization called the Calix Institute. But the way that the Calix Institute works is that you pay a membership fee to be a part of their organization. And included in that membership is a hotspot device with truly unlimited Wi-Fi. It's the best option we've found over the years. Now it runs off of T-Mobile. When we first got it back in 2020, it ran off of Sprint. They've now joined, so it runs off of T-Mobile. Again, with any cell service, it's gonna be hit or miss. So there have been some places we've lived where it hasn't been great. Other places where it's great, it is great. Yeah, we've had really good luck, especially with the T-Mobile and Sprint merge over the past year. It has worked a lot better. And with the integration of the 5G network, the speeds have increased a little bit. We are on the sustainer membership level. There's a lot of different ones on the site. That's the best one for us. Uh, complete transparency, it is $500 a year, which comes out to about 42 bucks a month for unlimited mobile internet. It's, it's a fraction of the cost of some of the other ones like Starlink, and again, has worked really well for us for two and a half years now. Yeah, we've been, had really great luck with it, which is why we just re-upped our membership again this year, because for us right now, it really truly is the best option. If you guys are interested in signing up for Calyx or for more information, click our link down below. It'll take you to their site and you guys can check it out for yourselves. Again, we don't promote things that we don't use ourselves. We have used this since mid 2020 and it's been a great option for us. We hope this helped you out guys. If it did at all, if you found this interesting or helpful at all, give us a little thumbs up down below. That helps out a lot. And hit that subscribe button to follow along with our adventures. Spring is here and I feel the warmth and we are so excited to get back out on the road, take some trips. Do you guys have any upcoming trips? Let us know down below. We can't wait to see you guys next week.